Today we're going to do a reading from the Sound and Light Boss Science Resources book. We're going to do the first reading called Vibrations and Sound. Before we start, let's preview the text. Let's go through each illustration and I want you to think about how each illustration is an example of vibration and sound. How are these animals an example of vibration and sound? What about these? Remember we did these in class? How are those examples of vibration and sound? How might this be an example of vibration and sound? Or this one? Let's begin. The world is full of sounds. Can you hear sounds now? Let's close our eyes for a second. And I want you to think about what sounds you hear. What did you hear? I heard rain. I hear cars. I also hear some birds chirping. You might hear music. You might hear people talking. Other animals make sounds too. A sound comes from a sound source. A sound comes from a sound source. Are these sound sources? What's your evidence? How do you know? You pluck the string of a table fiddle. Did you feel the string move? So think about if you were to make one of these at home with string and either some blocks or something that would hold these strings up, what do you think would happen if you plucked one of the strings? Vibration is back and forth motion. A vibrating string is a sound source. Can you make a book fiddle? Try it. Okay, we're gonna go on a scavenger hunt. I want you to find a cup, a rubber band, and a book. See how fast you can find them. I'll give you 10 seconds. Did you find it? I found a cup, I found a rubber band, and I found a book. So go ahead and make a book fiddle. What happens when you pluck the rubber band? What happens if you put two rubber bands or if you change the book or maybe you get different types of cups? Try it out and see. Let's do an instrument challenge. I want you to look around your house and see what you can find to make a sound source. Something that's going to vibrate and make sound. See you soon.